Okay. I'm going to show you the correct way to load a film reel onto the panoram. The first thing to do is to make sure that the offset film bracket is in the correct position so that when you load your film drive belt on that you can actually spring it together and have it touch so it's not too tight and you can adjust the tension by loosening these two screws on your bracket and moving the bracket either up or down which will affect the tension on your belt so if you can touch them together and it's not real tight that's correct so when you load your film reel it's important that you have a good neoprene band on the inside of your reel that it's not smooth because this is what picks the film up off of the film reel and puts it through the projector. So you've got three pins and on the film reel the bottom one here so that the open part is off to your right you need to make sure that the film is coming out and it's going to make a half turn and go over the reel like this so it comes out and goes over so the one thing you need to make sure is that it's going to go across and hook in so that the film now is coming here it's going to go around the offset film reel and now we're going to load it onto the projector is this flashing correct no yeah, that's fine i think Should be. If not, we'll find out. I thought it'd be counted. Okay. So the film is going to go around through the first part of the roller. Then it's going to come up and over lift up this little arm. This is the end of soundy arm. You need to open and the lower one. Make sure your film is in the sprocket holes. You can feel them as you're loading. Then this device is the upper mercury switch that has been added in series with the lower one, which is down here. The projector originally just had one lower mercury switch so that if something happened and your film broke, this would go forward and stop the projector. What I've done is added the upper one in series so that if your upper loop, if something gets caught in the film gate, it'll push up on the arm here and drop this down, which will also stop the projector. So it's an extra added safety. And then you'll see on the inside, there's a little silver painted um, adjustment where it shows you where to load your film. Make sure you go f in front of this little pin. I've seen people do it behind it and that's the best way to break your film. So there you go. Okay, now to the lower. You're going to lift this arm up a little bit. The film's going to go over the sound drum. And you've got a lower loop. Again, make sure it's in front of this pin. Then it goes across the top of these two rollers. And in there. Then it comes across the front, down below, and it's going to go between these rollers. 
as you can see here, there's extra film. And so your front mercury switch is going forward. As soon as you turn on the projector, the film adjustment will pick up the slack and then everything will be running correctly. So let's try it. Just hold this. And there you go.